Hi, Daryl. How are you? Hello. Hello. Uh, how are you? Yeah, I, I'm doing fine. I wanted to thank you for agreeing to do this recording with me. I'm very excited to talk to you. Like I always usually, I am always excited to talk to you, as you know. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, so today we are here to talk about uh, friendships, but more specifically about friendships that happens like overseas, online, and uh, I wanted to start asking you, um, is it the same for you when, no, first of all, I would like to start asking you, um, do you have a lot of online friends? It's, it's how do you call them online friends or it's just friends for you? Um, yeah, I guess I call them online friends. Um, mm -hmm. That's quite a tough question. I know a lot of people mm -hmm. through online. I've met a lot of people through online, but how many of them I'd actually call friends, I think is another, another thing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I would say like, 80% of them are just people I know. 20% uh -huh. of them, you know, you can keep in contact with people. And I think that it is possible to to have a meaningful friendship with someone overseas. But you you both have to have the same level of commitment. So, uh -huh. for example, I mean, we got on really well. We, 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 we don't have it on such a level where we need to speak every day. Uh -huh. we, we could not speak for like two weeks and things still remain the same. Now, to yeah. me, that's, that's what a friendship is. It, it shouldn't be someone that relies on you communicating them every day. That, that's what it means to me. But, you know, there's a lot of people that you could do that with and you kind of drift apart or, you know, you don't hear from them for years. And I don't know, maybe you have a thought like, oh, I should give them a message. And then another part of you thinks, well, maybe it's not welcome. Maybe I've upset them somewhere or, you know, I don't know what they're doing now. They might change the number or, you know. It could be anything, but mm -hmm. it, it, yeah, it's possible to do it, but it's got to be met with equal commitment from both sides. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I would when, about. Yeah, when you say commitment, it is a difficult question, I know. What is what <laughs> is actually mean for you, a commitment in a friendship? It it's is like a level? It's not, it's not a commitment in the sense of like you have to change your life. I don't, you know, I don't mean it like that, but <laughs> it, it's a commitment in the sense of like, you know, slowly is a good example of this. And, you know, mm -hmm. that's how I met you. And we exchanged some quite long letters. But, you know, yeah. some of them did take me quite a lot of time to think about and write out. And, you know, sometimes it could be a couple of hours. But are you willing to give that couple of hours to someone? Yeah. You know, have you got the time in your day to make that a priority so much so you're willing yeah. to write that? And if so, if that's reciprocated and they're doing the same thing, then, you know, you've... You, You've committed time out of your day to do it, is what I'm, I'm saying. You've put your effort and your time, which is potentially several hours sometimes. Yeah. You've given that to somebody else. So yeah. that, that's what I mean by commitment. I'm not saying like it's a life change. No, no, no. Thing, no, like, yeah. Like, like a marriage. No. <laughs> no, 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 I know, I know. <laughs> no, yeah, that, that is a very interesting thing, what you just said. I was watching this. Do you like, do you, do you like to watch uh, TED Talks. Do you know what that is? I know what it is, but you know what? I've never seen one. Uh, so TED Talks, it's this, yeah, you know what it is. It's this motivational speeches. And um, I was watching one. I actually, sometimes I, I will keep like watching so I can recommend TED Talks in Portuguese to my students. And I, I, I found this one, this guy, he was trying to define what love is. And uh, yeah, he tells this huge long story, but it boils down to that the answer he, he found he found is love in in all its forms, like friendship and relationships and family is giving your time. That's how you measure love, because it is very easy, like not, not necessarily easy, but sometimes we tell people that we like them, that we appreciate them. but we did not commit, as you say, I like that you said that it is splitting the time, like to actually get in contact. Not every day, we don't need that, but when we spend time with the people that we care about, it is like this quality time. Like yeah. that's very important to give your time. That's how you show to the other person that you care. And uh, yeah, and then, yeah, I remember like receiving your letters and reading them and writing to you when we 
when we used to write letters and um yeah the devices and i mean the the uh, if i could put those letters into pages we can online but i think it would be lots of pages that what we did back yeah, then yeah there was a lot said and but i think by doing that if you invest the time and it's the same with anything i i, I don't know if it's an expression in portuguese or something similar but Mm. You only get into it what you get out of it. Well, sorry, you only get out mm -hmm. of it what you put. You only. I've, I've messed this up now. You only get out of it what you put into it. So if you're willing to invest, mm. say, three hours of time writing one of these letters, there's going to be a lot of information in there to take in for the other person. But three hours is quite a, a long time to write a letter. You know, yeah. by the end of it, it's a well structured letter. You've said what you want to say in, in the best way possible. Now. I think like every time we did that, it was met with equal measure. So you probably put as much time into it as I did. So it's met. If I was to put, say, 20 minutes into those letters and just, you know, any old generic text, you know, mm -hmm. how's your week been and, you know, just general chit chat, we probably wouldn't be sat here having this discussion now. Yeah. So, but that, that's the result of putting your time in. We, we've sort of made a connection with good friends now on a level where, I think we were open enough to talk about anything and mm -hmm. that's just as good as what you could get in real life but we've done it with someone halfway across the world so it's just it's been a commitment thing but mm -hmm. if, if like i say it's only because we put that initial commitment in we're at this stage and that's yeah. kind of you know like i say it has to be met equally if there was a time where i don't know if we didn't talk for months and you messaged me and I don't know, I replied with something really short and didn't really give you much to follow up on. And I kept doing that. Eventually you would sort of hang back a bit and think, well, maybe mm -hmm. he doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Maybe I, you know, he's moved on or whatever. Or he's doing his own thing or, and vice versa. So yeah. but then that's when you stop investing your time that it breaks mm -hmm. down. And I think I said it to you before, like, when we were talking about time and money and stuff like that, money it will come and go your whole life. But time mm -hmm. is, you've got to wisely invest time because it's, if it's not a good investment, you're not getting your, your time back. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, even if it is a good investment, you're still not going to get your time back. Mm -hmm. So it's very careful where you, you've got to be careful where you invest your time. And if yeah. you think something is worth, if you've got a gut instinct that something is worth your time, there's a good chance that it is. I'm not saying mm -hmm. that that's the case every time, but yeah invest in time is probably one of the most important lessons in life i think mm -hmm. yeah yeah but now i have another question for you because yeah, we yeah, of course. <laughs> have a lot of questions always right uh so time is limited right yeah. uh and i couldn't possibly be writing three hour letters to every person that i want that i know so how do you make that distinction like that choice because i think i mean I think people, they are interesting and uh, from Slowly, for example, uh, after I met you, I couldn't, actually that's sad because I couldn't keep up on talking, keep up talking with the people that I was talking to because I didn't have like three through one hour to write to everyone like I was, like I wanted to. So there is a time where we make, t we have to make a choice because potentially everyone is very interesting and every life is special and I would like to I mean, I would probably would like to be in contact with people from all over the world, learn how they live and what they think. Everything is very interesting to me. But the time is limited and we have to work, we have to take care of ourselves, our bodies and sleep and etc. So for you, how, because I, I, I find you like to be this very deep person, something I really like about you. And uh, I, I cannot imagine, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, I cannot imagine you having small talk. I mean, probably, but not having like friendships based on small talk. So how do you make that choice? Like this person I care about, this person is in my life, uh, but this person, I mean, oh, do, do, do you think about that? It makes sense what I'm asking you? Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Basically, how do I pick and choose where to divide my time? But is that yeah. what you um, No, yeah, yeah. I mean, if, for example, like slowly, I, I'm not there anymore. Sometimes I would log in, but sometimes I will delete the app because I cannot 
bring more people into my life because I know that I I won't be able to give them what they deserve. And I don't want to have these people like, like you said, like those generic generic messages, messages. Am I saying massage? No, messages. Yes. Yes. So, yeah, sorry. Messages. Yes. Sometimes I, 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 I make this mistake, this confusion, like I send you a massage. No, yeah. a message. Make, it's, it's, yeah, very closely worded and potentially quite devastating. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's the English language for you. One word yeah. can change everything. One letter in a word can change everything. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, the pronunciation. Yes. So. Totally, yeah. It, it can. Yeah, it's a bit of a minefield. The English language, even for an English person, sometimes I'm like, does that make sense? That, mm-hmm. Is that the right tense? You know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's complicated. It's very complicated, if you want it to be complicated. But anyway, back to what you were talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, how do I divide my time up equally? Yeah. Or do, do, do you make that conscious choice or it just happen naturally? Like the people who are intent to stay, they stay. The, the, the ones who need to go, go. Or do you make a, a conscious choice? I, think, I don't think it's so much a conscious choice. A conscious choice. I don't think I've ever been in the middle of messaging somebody and thought this person's <laughs> taking up too much of my time. I've never, I've, I've never really felt that. So I think I slightly was slowly because sometimes, obviously, it takes like two days for a message to deliver to some yeah. parts of the world. Yeah. So you find that, especially with that, you you had incoming mail and there might be like three or four of them, and you've got maybe two or three that you got to reply to, and. The way I sort of used to do it was every couple of hours or every six hours, there would be another letter there. So I would just try and fit it in as and when. But sometimes, uh, you know, it it could take me 10 minutes to write a letter sometimes Mm -hmm. because you'd be expecting a letter from someone halfway across the world. And then when you get it, it's quite literally, hi, how's it going? (laughs) That's frustrating. Two days for this shit. Wow, that's frustrating. Why have you made me wait two days for that? And I know it sounds sort of heartless in a way and you probably wouldn't do it but I, I totally ignore it I just think I'm not I'm not going to waste 18 hours of your life pending a message that or 24 hours or however long it takes just to reply yeah good thank you how have you been <laughs> what would be the point and the thing is if that's what they're opening with then I just don't have time for that so I used, used to get a lot of messages like that and I, I look back at it now and it probably wasn't so much that they were a boring person but they would be from countries like Vietnam or India, where obviously English is not their first language. So the mm-hmm. fact that they've even managed to, to get a sentence together in English, it deserves more appreciation than being ignored. But I didn't feel that way at the time. And I don't know, when there was letters to respond to, like yourself, that had depth to them. And, you know, it's, it's something that captivates you. So if, if you're entertaining something, then you can spend an hour doing it and not realise that that hour's passed. So you find yourself sort of giving your time without realising. But mm-hmm. because it's worth it, it's, it's got your interest. Mm-hmm. If it's got your interest long enough for you to spend two or two to three hours writing it, then mm-hmm. that's where your time goes. And mm-hmm. more yeah. than not, it's, it's not like the wrong choice. But like I say, there was yeah. there would be some letters that would take like 10 minutes to respond to, <laughs> where like, how do I put it? After you message somebody for so long, the letters sometimes got shorter and shorter. And I don't know, just more frequent messaging, there's not as much to say. So sometimes it would only be like a paragraph or two paragraphs. But if they were so far away that, like yourself, I think it took like a day or so to get to you. If I'm going to make you wait a day for a message, and I'm going to make sure it's a, a message worth waiting for is my point so it really depends yeah. so especially with that where they were in the world yeah if they were like in the same country or somewhere in europe where it only takes three hours then usually it would get to the stage where you just send them paragraphs because three hours isn't so bad to wait but when you're waiting like 24 hours and you know it's coming and you're expecting something of substance there's nothing more disappointing than having that <laughs> expectation and then getting that message and then realizing actually this is not what I expected at all. You've totally wasted my time. I've, I've sort of anticipated your message for a day. This is shit. And it, it doesn't give me that inspiration to want to reply so readily, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's... 
let's go and do how I divided my time up slowly. It was really, and to be fair, the people that I spent two to three hours writing messages to, and there, there wasn't many of them. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, it, yeah, you are currently the only person. I haven't got slowly anymore. I got rid of it, but I think you're the only person that I actually keep in touch with now. That's, mm-hmm. that's, mm-hmm. I suppose mm-hmm. you by that, but I found with a lot of these people, I didn't have that much in common with them. Mm-hmm. And so maybe you'd exchange two or three messages and you wouldn't hear from them again. So it was mm-hmm. a bit of, only ever like, I can't remember how many people were on the account before I got rid of it. I think you can have like up to 100. And I think I had like 83. Wow. But some were from messages from years ago that, and I, I was guilty of it sometimes, I would leave it so long and not delete the app, but keep the account. And I would get maybe like 20 messages. Where I'd left it three months and I hadn't been on there, and then all of a sudden, bang, there's like 20 messages, and then you're like, oh. And I, I didn't reply to them all because some of them weren't worth replying to. There were some that were, but ultimately, I didn't, apart from yourself, I didn't really build any major friendship up with anyone on there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's not because I didn't want to. That, I mean, like, I, I was friendly on there and everything, I was as nice as I possibly could have been, but. Mm-hmm. You, you come to a stage where you realise you're just two different people, and yeah, that's where it ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was an amazing answer. Thank you. <laughs> and... I probably went on quite a bit, but I, I no, do... perfect. Yes, I feel like on slowly and on life in generally, I feel like everyone wants to. They want to be heard. People, they. They want to communicate with one another, but it's difficult to find. Do you say in English like the bridge where we can communicate effectively, like in Symphony, and my words will reach you? And we were, I mean, we clearly do not speak the same language like natively, but it's, I mean, I will, I will, I, I worked, I work talking to people, and I sometimes talk to people, but they understand the words, but they don't understand what I mean. Yeah. And I think the people, in in order to build a relationship, a friendship, they they need to be in the same page, like going through the same process. I, and I think that, I mean, you are sort of, you know, you are living a, perso- a process that I want to jump in, sort of like, so, you, you know what I mean when I, I say think, this? Uh, I think, I yeah. think you're saying, yeah. Yeah, so So your question ultimately. Yeah. What what is the question you're asking me ultimately? Then? Okay, okay, okay. Uh the question I'm asking you, or oh, maybe it's not a question, it's just something I'm I'm trying to process and express is that uh I think in order for a relationship to be built people they have to be going through the same process process or, or in the same page not you have to or feel interesting the same, yeah. huh you, you have to both feel the same way so yes yes if, if at any point you thought actually this guy's a bit full on and he's a nice guy but just I won't message him so much then again we probably wouldn't be doing this so mhm yeah. yeah and for me you you what i what i love the most about you like the first actually when i read your profile it's like this is a deep human being it's a profound person and then i wrote you a letter i love the thing you wrote about i memorize your profile you're talking about the theory concept. i don't even remember it so no yeah <laughs> I, i'm not sure if i remember now but i've read it so many times like you're talking about about yourself about your conspiracy theories and yeah. the but, things you again something a lot of people got twisted because there was messages that were like i you know trying to make me out like oh, some some kind of crackpot or something and it's not really the case i'm not saying i adamantly believe these conspiracy theories <laughs> but think, as a point of conversation like the possibility of an alternative theory is interesting and I'm quite sceptical anyway. I don't really believe what the news tell me. I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm very sort of, mm. what would be the right word? Dubious, I suppose. I'm very dubious of what mainstream media tell people. I'm very, I don't believe the news. I don't really believe politicians. So mm-hmm. conspiracy theories to somebody like me is like, 
yeah, let me hear it. I want to know. And <laughs> yes, but that's you the just thing. just want to know what the theory is, not necessarily whether or not you believe it. That's another thing altogether. Yeah. But, I mean, there is some theories of her, but you just think, no, just absolutely <laughs> not. It's just, it's, it's impossible. It's already been proven. It, I'm all for listening to conspiracy theories, and equally, I'm listening to people that can sort of debunk them. So, mm. if there's a plausible theory to something, then I'm open to that too. I'm not one of these people that believes everything I hear. But the way I think I, I wrote it on that profile, it was like people thought I was some kind of lunatic, and like, Mm-mm. you know, I believe no. everything, and I don't. I'm I, like I say, I'm skeptical of pretty much everything. I don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, for me. Uh, it, it felt to me like you were willing to contemplate ideas and if you had to drop them after, okay, but at least yeah, you would no, consider, yeah. you would consider at yeah, least. Yeah, you've got to be open-minded to the idea of different possibilities and it's like, yeah. there, there is people out there who just adamantly believe everything that they hear in the news and it's mm-hmm. like, it's just so not the case, it's just so not the case. There's, mm-hmm. I think people are waking up a little bit more to it now, but and I'm not, again, I'm not saying like the news lies about everything, but mm-hmm. it, a lot of it is political too. Certainly in this country, I, I don't know about the world over, but certainly here, it's, it gets very political. Um, I'll, I'll give you an example. Like we've got a newspaper here called The Sun, and like, they're, they're notoriously profound for lying on, on a big scale about quite important things, but they. I think it was during the general election that we had a couple of years ago or last year. I think it might have been last year. And um, where the... I can't remember what town it is. It might have even been a city, Newcastle or something. Somewhere close to Scotland. You had the newspaper, The Sun, and then sold in Newcastle. And then sort of, I don't know, maybe 50 miles over the border in Scotland, in their town, the same newspaper. But they were both different political parties. They were both pushing different political parties. So that's that's coming from the same news outlet, and you've got well, we've got two major parties in this country. You've got the Conservative Party and the Labour Party, and I can't remember what way round it was, but a copy of the newspaper in the UK would be, or in the, in England rather, would be pressing for one political party, and the other new, the same newspaper in Scotland, a few hundred miles the other way, same newspaper but pressing the opposition. So it was like. Wow. The same company pressing both both political yeah. things. And it was just trying to have that push on people. Mm-hmm. But this is what I'm saying. This is how it, it can be very manipulative. And yeah. Manipulative, yeah, manipulative. And people are sort of, well, they don't expect to be lied to. So they believe what they read. And mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just sceptical of that. That in itself, I think, is quite a dangerous thing. And I don't yes. really believe everything the news says. So... Yeah, I'm all for conspiracy theories, definitely. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No, yeah. So, yeah, the last thing I wanted to say before we, we go, because I hope I know you have a, a commitment. Uh, so, yeah, so the last thing I wanted to say is that for me, help me this with this expression in English because I hear people saying that, but I don't actually know what it means. I think I know it's it's hard sometimes to translate things between languages so can I say (laughs) okay yes so so help me so uh, what you wrote can I say it stroked me as it stroked me as it appeared to me as yeah it stroked to me as what am I saying if I say this what you wrote on your profile is struck to is a stroke 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 to me struck struck. it struck to me as can I say like you were very open, like it was you you were open and deep, and you were willing to talk and consider possibilities, and and I felt just by reading your profile that it would be this uh, a very interesting dialogue between us. Can I say that? It struck yeah. to me, yes. Yeah, yeah. It means well, it appeared to me as yes. it appeared to me as. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Is that what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, same you. kind of thing. Yeah. 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 So. Right. Yeah. Same kind of. Thing. Uh, yeah, it means the same thing basically. In short, mm-hmm. if it's okay. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'll be honest with you. I can't remember what your profile said, and that's not a personal I mean, thing. No, it said but, nothing as interesting as yours. I mean, it's just but, I'm, I'm a I mean, teacher. Your, your first letter to me, I remember, as I recall, it was it was quite in depth, and you obviously put a lot of effort into it. And 
yeah, you, you come across as a very interesting person too. So it, it seems only right to sort of message you about the way I did, and I'm glad I did. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've had some decent yeah. conversations. Yeah, good. amazing. Yeah, almost a year after here we are, yeah, and yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, so thank you for all the letters and um, and this friendship that we are building. You know, it means a lot to me to talk to you, even though we don't know we don't, we don't speak every day. But whenever we speak, it's always very meaningful, and uh, it leaves like a mark. It's not just like communicating for the sake of communicating it's something we are communicating something and yeah we have these conversations yeah definitely yeah. and I, I think that's why I, like i mentioned earlier we don't speak for a couple of weeks sometimes but because the conversations we do have you know they're, they're of depth so like you're saying it leaves an impression on you and i feel like even after a few weeks of not speaking to you a month or whatever however long it is I've still got that impression that it mm -hmm. doesn't really change. So, and I think it's it goes both ways. So, yeah, it works for that reason. Yeah, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, so, thank you for participating in this video and in the channel. And yeah, you're welcome, um, I, my problem. yeah, I wish you a happy Easter if you celebrate chocolate and uh, stuff. I always celebrate chocolate. Yeah, yeah. but on a weekly basis, it's, <laughs> it's not. It's not necessarily just for Easter. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, and um, well, happy Easter we'll, we'll speak soon. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, bye. Take care.